What is going on everybody? Today I'm going to build some armor for my GT56 transducer. Let's go. All right, what we're gonna try and do is make a transducer shield for GT56. This plate here is actually a GT54 plate, so it's a little bit shorter. But this is two and a half, uh, two and a half square. Yeah, two and a half. It's two and a half square tubing that I had for some scrap. And the idea is, is I'm going to sandwich this just like it is in between the transducer, which will be inside of here essentially, and then the trolling motor mount. I'm going to cut this up and see if we can't make a uh, transducer saver out of it. They're about 150 bucks and I think I can do it with some of the scrap metal. So let's see what happens. Anybody's wondering the size difference between a GT54 and a GT56? 54 is two and a half ish inches shorter than the 56. I mean, that's a huge difference. Look at that. Yeah, bottom to bottom. That's a big difference. All right, so let's make sure we're designing the right one. I think I got an extra set of holes here. We're going to need to do some finagling to get all of this business through. So kind of between these holes here, I need to hog it out. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that yet, but we're gonna get that done. Probably a step bit would be a good choice. I think I missed it. So I'm off here a little bit, but I'd like to open these up. I don't know, we'll kind of smooth that out. We'll hog it out here a little bit more and then that'll go through and the thought is this one will go on top and then what we're going to do is cut this whole profile out so it's probably just a, a little bit of an edge here for some strength and then take the front and taper the front and probably weld a little piece across the lip here as like a little bash bar or something that's going to hit first and you can see that we're not doing too bad all I really want on this edge is a little bit of strength on it, but I can't obviously can't have it way down here. It's going to completely block the side imaging on this thing. So I'm thinking leave about three eighths of an inch, 10 millimeters or so on this side. Let me lock this thing down. This is exactly what precision measurement tools are used for. Flip it over. Do the same thing. Good thing these are cheap calipers. All right. You can kind of see I've scored my line, right? All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna cut all this off, as you can see. Cut, 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 cut. And then we're gonna come up here and do that. And we're going to precisely do the exact same thing. Yeah, something like that. You can kind of see how it's starting to take shape a little bit. Cut all this off. Side view of the sky. This is all. I'm gonna have a front bash bar, if you will. And I'm gonna weld a plate to close it up. We're gonna cut it straight back here. This lip will give us some rigidity to it and help take any load from here, distribute it across the fasteners and the three hose clamps that's holding it to the trolling motor. Real quick, if you haven't bought your electronics yet, check out American Legacy Fishing. They do have a pretty good selection of garment equipment on their website. I'll put a link in the description. If you're wondering why I'm throwing sparks at the wall, it's because the hot rod's over here. And it's covered, but... It would not be a good idea to cover it in sparks today. That seems better. I just realized that you can't see anything. Uh, so here's what we have. Hog this out a little bit more. Sorry, this is not pretty. Um, but the, the whole placement's pretty good. This is going to be the front edge, so I'm gonna weld on a bash bar here. This material is fairly thin, 
70 thousandths. 564 seven inch. What is that in metric? 1.9 millimeters. See, isn't that easier? It's 1.9 millimeters. So whatever that works out to engage, it's probably a 14, 16 gauge. I'm, I don't know gauges off the top of my head, but that's roughly what it is. I've deburred these edges pretty good. So I wanna make sure that any of these inside edges here, if it's not gonna tear up my finger, it's not gonna tear up my transducer harness. If I check this and it looks good, then I'll be ready to cut a little bash bar here, make it on there, grind it smooth, and paint it. And I think we're done. All right, here's what we ended up with. So here's that front bash bar. It's welded on there and ground down. It looks reasonable, so um, I'm gonna dry fit this one more time. Make sure everything lines up. Shoot a coat of paint on it, and I think we're good to reinstall. Go back and have this. So here we go. So what we have is the factory dealies, right? Hook up to my trolling motor. I've got my plate. Here, my bash bar, um, you can see that it is quite a bit lower than the actual nose of the transducer. That may give me some fits. I don't think it will. Uh, maybe someone from Garmin that knows this transducer better than I have, or someone that's cut one of these open, um, would be able to inform me where the actual elements are in this guy. But anyway, here's what I've ended up with. I've got the, you know, routing coming out of the side. You know, absolutely worst case, I absolutely destroy something here. That's gonna distribute that load across all of these fasteners here. And it may shear them. I doubt it. That would be the, the worst thing. Um, but what I think would happen in a worst case scenario is I'm gonna rip these tabs off. And if I hit something that hard, it's better for me to break it away than it is to try and, and absorb it all. Right, so if I hit something hard enough, I would rather this come off the boat and just dangle off the end of the trolling motor. It's kind of that crumple zone theory of a car, right? You know, this old car, it's pretty tough, but it would not be ideal in a wreck. Anyway, let's go install it. Here's what we got. So this is just an old motor guide that actually had a really bent skeg on it. So I just cut it off. I may do one of those rudders that goes up above. But you can see what we got here. Solid mount there. I think it's a good idea to put some armor on your transducer. Like I said, this is the second warrantied Garmin transducer. The first one was the GT54. Then I had another 56. They are extremely sensitive to bumping into stuff. And so this is, like I said, my third one. I would like it to be my last one. So luckily they were warrantied before, but that may not happen a third time. So I wanted to put some armor on it. Hopefully you found that valuable. Hit like for this video. Hit subscribe for the channel and you'll see what upcoming videos we have. And we'll see you next time.